Today in the smuggler's room, we need a lot of these, and I'm gonna use this to cut a notch. Actually, I think we'll use a dado stack. I think that would be a lot safer. That's coming up. What's up you awesome geeks? I'm Brian and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek is gonna show you how we're creating these style pads for the columns in the Smuggler's Room project, as well as a sneak peek as to what we've been up to down there. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into today's build. The first thing we needed to do was cut down the foam to the exact sizes we needed for the pads around the columns. Now, this step is easy enough using a table saw, but be careful, the foam is super lightweight and it doesn't take much force against the blade to catch hold of it. Wanna see what I mean? Watch this. Yep, that's right, I barely touched the foam and that's all it took to take off. Fortunately, it left just a small gouge in the phone, but in more importantly, it left all 10 fingers on Brian's hands. And I call that a win. Now, unlike the previous pads we did in another episode, these pads have to wrap around the column. And in order to do that, we have to remove large amounts of material from the center of the pads. So in order to do that, I'm going to pull out the almighty dado stack. That's right, Vader fans. The dado stack is a series of blades that can be stacked against one another to create a monster thick blade capable of chewing through material like a rancor in a room full of Gamorrean guards. Okay, maybe that's a bit much, but it does make an awesome size blade that will help us remove a lot of material quicker and easier. And as a general safety note, when you're swapping blades on your table saw, make sure to completely remove the power. I know this seems like an obvious thing to do, but now I feel a whole lot better having said that. Okay, on with the build. Now I'm using a piece of foam that I previously cut to the right depth. I'm using this as a height gauge so I know where to set the level of the dado stack so that we only remove the material that we want. Then we set our fence the proper distance away from the blade and make our first pass. That distance between the fence and the blade is the amount of wrap we'll have on the column. Then all we have to do is flip the pad around and cut the other side. If we measured and set the fence correctly, then the pad will fit tightly around the column with a perfect fit. After each pass, we move the fence, the width of the blade, cut, flip, cut, and repeat until we have 100% finished all the pads. Now all the pads have to be rounded over to have that iconic look. So I used a one inch roundover bit in my router to help get a jump start on this. The foam is softer than wood, obviously. So these roundovers are not perfect, but this is just to help us speed up the process. We still have to go back and do a little cleanup by hand. Then tear all the towels like we did before and we're ready for the next step. The next step is obviously a Tauntaun load of Mod Podge application, followed by paper towels, and more Mod Podge, more paper towels, and there you go, a pile of pads ready for paint. So, what do we do with paint? That's right, our trusty critter gun filled with latex as our base. Spray down a nice even coat, making sure to cover up all the blue from the towels below. This is then followed by a muddy mess of acrylic paints that are mostly brushed on and then dabbed away with more of our favorite paper towels. Just enough to leave a filthy, worn, disgusting, grimy mess behind. And what do you do then? Will you install them on the columns? Of course. Whoa, I, I'm sorry, I can't show you that. The, the wall's not done, it's not 100%. There's still tweaks to be made, like lighting and... You want a peek? Just a little one? All right, but I'm I'm only doing this because I like you guys. And, and don't tell anybody else. The only ones that can watch are you guys that are watching it right now. Or or I guess if, if you watch it later, then obviously then they would see it too, but fine. All right, here we go. Just a peek. <laughs> 